Hello and welcome to 13 Paranormal. Today the team are in Boston, Lincolnshire to revisit a location we investigated back in 2010. Adrian Fuller, our spiritualist medium, had picked up on numerous spirits. Some were happy and some were not so, but each one had a different story to tell. Evidence we captured included loud bangs in response to our questions, light anomalies and fantastic glasswork. But on tonight's investigation we have access to a new part of the building. So what will the team encounter as we reinvestigate the Boston Glider Drone? This is the Bingo Hall and it dates back to the 1930s when it was an outdoor skating rink. It was later enclosed during World War II. It was in here that when the team were asking questions to the spirits, we were getting loud bangs. These bangs seem to emanate around this part of the building. And it's these areas we'll focus on more tonight to offer a rational explanation, whether it be actually the building settling or even if it is actually the spirits just trying to communicate. This is a new area for the team to investigate, but it's mainly used as storage. However, strange stories seem to happen here. One in particular is of a gentleman that was working away here. He heard his name, so he turned round, saw no one, so he continued. A few moments later, he heard his name called again. He turned round and again, he saw no one, so he called out. He got no response. At this point, he was a little uneasy, but he had a project to finish. A few moments later, he then heard his name whispered right into his ear. He soon left the building, and to this day there is still no rational explanation. Plus, in here, the sightings of a black shadow seen wandering around this part of the building has been seen on numerous occasions. Entertainment has been presented on this site of the glider drone for almost 70 years dating back to an open-air skating rink in the mid-1930s, which soon also became used for dancing. During the early part of the war, the rink was enclosed and there were offerings of some description nearly every night for Bostonians and the numerous service people drafted into Lincolnshire. The original glider drone burned down in the early hours of Sunday the 24th of May 1959, but was rebuilt with the new one opening on Wednesday the 27th of January 1960 with Bob Miller and his Millermen as the star band. The Starlight Rooms were built a couple of years later and opened on Thursday the 19th of November 1964 by DJ David Jacobs, The Federals and Hines. During the glider drone's heyday, Jimi Hendrix, The Who, Tom Jones, Otis Redding, The Animals, Jerry and the Pacemakers, Lulu, The Small Faces, Dusty Springfield and Ike and Tina Turner would also play at Boston's Pop Palace. When Stevie Wonder, then Little Stevie Wonder, played the glider, it was one of just four stops in the UK, prompting people from as far afield as Newcastle to travel to the gig. Over many Saturday nights, the top pop names of the time were appearing and dances continued on a regular basis until May 1973, when it was decided not to hold any more because of the trouble and damage caused. Dances were restarted on an occasional basis in March 1996, when the Drifters were top of the bill and continued for about eight years. Now the Gliderdrome is more known as one of Boston's bingo halls. This is the Starlight Lounge and it was on this very table that we experienced some fantastic glasswork. We connected with a lady that had once worked here and was trying to help her son, Eric, pass over. Can we reconnect with this lady tonight? We have also been told that underneath this very dance floor there is a metal tomb with 12 bodies inside. Are any of these spirits waiting for someone to offer them a voice? This is Wardrobe, and it was in here that Adrian had picked up on a spirit called Eric. He seemed to hate the glider home so much as he blames it for his mother's death. Can we reconnect with Eric tonight?
if there's anyone here, anyone in this storage area, wishes to communicate with us, we'd like you to do so by either making a noise, banging your feet, saying something. You can throw something, but not at us. Just something so that we know that you're here. Could you do that for us, please? Anyone hear that? Yeah. That way. I think it's probably the wind going There is that big metal door thing, but it sounded more from where you. I was going to say, sort of over there. Yeah, yeah. your corner, Steph. If that was you, could you do that again, please, but much, much louder? Spirit people here with us this evening, can you make yourself known to us, please? There are lots of noises. Did it? Yeah. Oh. Over where? Over there. It did, didn't it? If there's spirit people in the room with us, can you please give us a sign of your presence? You're a spirit person trying to make a noise. You need to do a little bit better than that, please. A bit louder. I just did like another bingo click. Should we go down there? That's at least two. Are there any spirit people in the room with us you'd like to make yourself known to us? Can you do something, please? Can you make a noise? Move something? Touch one of us, even. Mum, we'd just like to communicate with you, we mean you no harm. Did you hear that? Yeah. I have to go over there and have a look. Would you like to come closer to us? Move towards the red lights on the table. They won't harm you. You can interact with us through them. Can you make a noise like this? Or like this? Could 
just what I am I'm going out again. Come on, if there's any spirit people here, can you make yourself known to us? Please, could you touch one of us? Gently. Make a noise. Let us see your footsteps. Make us feel cold. Push the shutters across, let you bingo. There it is. Push them across so we can hear them. What's that thing in the corner? What's that blowing up? Yeah. Oh, um, the white, well, like a ball of. It's something to do with. It's something to do with. It's something to do with. It's something to do with the um, door down there. Feel free to go and investigate, Richard. Did you hear that click over to my right? Don't be afraid of us. I just want to communicate with you. I don't mean you any harm. I'm just here for research. So on that note, could you please make a sound and make yourself known to us? You tap on a table or move one of the window doors for us. Do something, make a noise. Do something, make a noise. Do something, make a noise. That was loud. If that was you, can you do that again? Again. We're asking the spirits that are in here, come forward and communicate with us please. We come with the greatest of respect and mean you no harm. Come forward and communicate and show yourselves. Let us know who you are. Show yourself in any form that you can. Build your energy up and use our energies. Show yourself make a noise, a mist, an orb, move something. Show yourself in any way possible. What's the beeping noise? Move the football. 
Roll it off the table for us at some point during the night. Roll it off for us. See what's that? If there's anyone here like to communicate with us, we don't mean you any harm. You may remember us three from a few months ago when we came here to see if you was here. And you may remember me and Debbie from our previous visits. But we're here to... We are here to talk to you again. We'd like you to communicate. So we'd like you to make a little bang just to show us that you're here. Could you do that please? Make a bang. That was a tap, wasn't it? Yeah. Can you do it but closer and louder please? I'm hoping that's you, Debbie. <laughs> you should have told me. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, and another. I'm hoping that's you, Debbie. <laughs> You should have told me. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Thank you. I want another. I'm hoping that's you, Debbie. <laughs> you should have told me. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you. I want another. I'm hoping that's you, Debbie. <laughs> you should have told me. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Thank you. I want another. Well, I know you can do it louder than that because you did it louder than that for me and Dean when we was here before. Can you please do it louder and closer, please? If there's anyone here, we know that you are here, you've made those bangs. We'd like you to do them again, but much louder. Could you do that for us, please? Make a really big bang. I thought I just saw a light over there then. You've done this before, but we'd like you to do it again for us. Make a really big bang. If there's anybody there, can you make a noise for us? Or show us the light? Move something. Can you can you move some of these boards around so that we can see the numbers? Because we've closed all of them. We'd like to see some of them that's been opened. If there's anyone here with us now, we think you are with us because we keep seeing lights and you keep making bangs, but we'd like definite proof. And with this definite proof, we'd like you to make either a really big bang, showing yourself as a full, full manifestation, so we'd like to see what you look like. Walk down this, this aisle, show yourself. So many people have said that they've seen you and we would like to see you. This is what we're here for. We're here to see if you're still here. We understand that you are stubborn and some of you don't like women. But we are not here to harm you and we hope that you don't harm us. But we just want to know that you're here by showing yourself, making a noise. If you can say something, that would be great. We may not hear it, but the cameras will. Can you do that, please? So 
shut that because I can't see anything. I keep thinking someone's like really close to me. Is there someone sort of behind me? Can't see out. As if they don't, they keep going behind and they don't want you to see them. They're like moving. Each time I would move, they'd move with me. If there's anyone affecting Steph, can you move the chair that's right next to her? Can you let us know that you're actually sat next to her? Tap on the back of it. Pull her hair. Who's here with us now? Show yourself. Come down the aisle. Flicker. Did you see that? Very I, quick. I couldn't Very see quick. it on here, but the camera may have got it. I couldn't see it because it's all the lights in my face. If that was okay. you... Showing yourself as a light, do it again. Could you do it as a big ball of light? If there's anyone there, can you make a noise? Can you show a light? Can you do something, please? We know that you can do it really loud because we've heard it before. Last time you did it, you made me and Dean laugh. So if you could do that again for us, please, because Steph's with us this time. She wasn't with us last time. So can you show Steph how loud you can do it? If I whistle, can you whistle back? <whistles> whistle back, please. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, that didn't sound like the tap, did it? No, it sounded like someone going... <whistles> it was a bit like... Someone trying to whistle. Yeah. I'm going to do it again. <sighs> I have got a bingo board. And... On all the tables, there is at least two bingo boards and some of them may have the same numbers that I'm going and some of them may have the same numbers that I'm going and some of them may have the same numbers that I'm going and some of them may have the same numbers that I'm going please tell me you heard the noise. What was it? I think it's someone picking a bingo board up. We understand that you can be quite aggressive and we would like you to possibly, if you could do that, throw a chair from the balcony onto the dance floor. We understand that you you've thrown furniture around before don't throw it at us but throw a chair from the balcony onto the dance floor could you do that please if you're going to do something any spirits we're coming through now now's your chance push us <laughs> no, uh, no, no, that felt very no, weird. No. no. It got wedged on, look, right, look there. No, but it felt as if someone push grabbed the door. Yeah, but don't it was, forget, no, 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 no. I, I went mean, to push I, no. it as well. When it was like that and you pushed it, it was like someone just went like that, took it really? out of my hands. I thought it was you pushing it. No. 
Yeah, well, I had that feeling, but I thought it was you behind me. No. Pushing. You seriously didn't put any weight on it? I didn't put any weight on it. Yeah, I did feel. I thought it was you. No. Thank you. <laughs> Can we have any bangs? You're probably fed up with us all now, aren't you? Shut the cubicle doors. Slam them shut. All four of them. If you do that, we'll go. We'll leave you alone. Is there anybody there? If so, make a noise. Move something. Show us a light. If you show us a light, there's lots of mirrors that will reflect them all. Maybe you're one of these dancing ladies. Getting herself ready. The feathers in her hair. Getting all dressed up to go on stage. Is there any spirit here who would like to communicate with us? Anyone at all? Can you move the pancette first, please? Is there a man in the room? Please go to yes on the left hand side or no on the right. Are you a male spirit? Are you a female spirit? Are you a child? Come forward and use our energies. Could you spell out the first initial of your first name please? Can you go to the letters? First initial of your first name. Please try and come forward to give us some communication. Are you happy here? Whoa. Are you happy here? Whoa. Are you happy here? Whoa. Are you happy here? Can you use the board to communicate with us? Are you unhappy here? Are you stuck here? Can you give us your age? Can you tell us how old you are, please? Can you move the planchette in any way, please, to let us know?
What year was you born? Thank you for watching 13 Paranormal and on behalf of myself and the rest of the 13 Paranormal team, thank you for watching. And remember, fear is not knowing and terror is finding out.